Hey, are you looking for things to do in Las Vegas? Well, perfect, because I actually live here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you the top 10 free things to do in Las Vegas. And we all like free, right? Come on, if you like free things, give this video a thumbs up. Starting out with number 10 is the gold and silver pawn shop as seen on the TV show, Pawn Stars. If you're a fan of the show, definitely worth checking out. Number nine is the indoor rainstorm inside of the Miracle Mile shops. Now it doesn't rain in the desert often, so it's cool to come and check this out. It features thunder, lightning, rain, and even fog. It starts at 10 a.m. every day, and you can catch it at the top of the hour, Monday through Thursday, and every half hour, Friday through Sunday. Number eight, see the world's largest chocolate fountain. It's 26 feet and three inches tall, and it circulates two tons of chocolate a minute. This fountain is found inside the Bellagio Hotel. Number seven, people watch. Las Vegas is definitely a place full of all kinds of different people. And no matter where you are in the city, your options are pretty much endless. But you can always head over to Fremont Street and check out the street performers. There's always some talented, unique, and interesting people over there to check out. Number six, the Bellagio Conservatory and Botanical Garden. You wanna make sure you have plenty of space on your phone or your camera because this place is so beautiful and unique, you're gonna be taking pictures the whole time. Something else that is really cool is they change the theme every season. So then when you make another trip back to Vegas, you can come check it out and see a whole new setup. Number five, get your photo taken with a million dollars at Binion's Hotel and Casino. Now, here's the catch. No personal photography, and you do have to be 21 or older. But they'll take a photo for you, and all you have to do is go over to the photo counter, pick it up, and you have a free souvenir photo to take home from Las Vegas. Number four is the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. Now, since this is so iconic, there's always a really long line just to get a picture in front of it. But honestly, I say skip the line. Just walk over to the side and you can get some really good selfie angles with the sign right behind you and you don't have to spend all of that time standing in line. It's cool to see the sign during the day or the night, but my personal preference is during the day, especially if you're trying to get a photo with it because at nighttime, you're not really going to show up because the sign is so bright behind you. So just something to keep in mind. Number three is the Mirage Volcano. It's a free show on the strip that simulates a volcano erupting and it is so cool. There's music, sound effects, lights, and fire, and you can even feel the heat from the fire just from watching it. Try to get to the show at least 15 minutes early because it does get crowded when it starts and you wanna make sure you have a good view. It starts at the top of the hour at 7, 8, and 9 p.m. Number two is Hike Lone Mountain. Now this is off the strip, but I highly recommend it as something to do when you're here in Las Vegas. It's only a 30 to 40 minute hike to the top, and it's a pretty easy hike for people of all ages. Make sure to bring some snacks and drinks with you, so when you get to the top, you can sit and relax for a little bit, and take in the view of the entire city with the surrounding mountains, and you can even see the strip off in the distance. The view from the top of Lone Mountain gives you a whole new perspective when you think of Las Vegas. A lot of people think Las Vegas is just the Strip, but there's so much more to it. So if you get the chance, definitely take advantage of this hike. And coming in at number one, the Bellagio Fountain Show, which is a choreographed water and light show to music, and it's truly a majestic experience. When you come to Las Vegas, you cannot miss out on seeing this. But don't worry because there are plenty of opportunities. Show times are Monday through Friday, every half hour from 3 p.m to 8 p.m. After 8 p.m., it's every 15 minutes until midnight. On Saturdays, it's every half hour from noon to 8 p.m. and then every 15 minutes until midnight. And Sundays, it starts at 11 a.m. and runs every half hour until 7 p.m. and then every 15 minutes until midnight. Another thing that's really cool about the Fountain Show is it's a different song every time. So you could stay and watch a couple in a row or maybe when you pass by at different times of the day, you'll get to catch a couple different shows. Hopefully you found some new things to add to your list whenever you come to Las Vegas. And not only do we live in Las Vegas, but we travel the world, so we'd love to have you along for our journey. So hit that subscribe button. Also, share this video, and maybe you can help someone else who's looking for things to do when they come here. And if you wanna see more things to do in Las Vegas, click one of these videos right here, and enjoy your trip.